नमस्कार वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लम ग्रोइंग इन आर एज इज फेशियल हेयर फॉर वुमेन दिस अकर्स ड्यू टू इम्बैलेंस इन आर हॉर्मोन वी लिव इन एन एरा वेर एवरी वन ग्लोरिफाइड ब्यूटी ऑफ द बॉडी एंड वी माइट फील सैड टू हैव हेयर वेर इट इज नॉट एक्सपेक्टेड दिस ट्रेंड ऑफ ग्लोरिफाइंग बॉडी has created lesser confidence in women and created depression in women and sometimes even self hatred in women some home remedies that can be done for reducing facial hair are first turmeric gram flour lemon juice and sandalwood paste add 3 tsp of gram flour in a bowl with 2 tsp of turmeric squeeze half a lemon and add two pinch of sandalwood paste mix this well and apply this paste on face and keep it for 15 20 minutes then rinse this with water and dry your face this paste should be applied every day for a full month or till you see the results this reduces your hair by initially thinning it it also softens your skin and brightens your tone second sugaring take half lemon juice 1 tablespoon full of sugar and make a thick paste with water this paste can be rubbed on your skin it exfoliates the skin and makes your face look hair free up to 6 weeks understand that the sugar which you are taking see that the granules of sugar are smaller not the bigger in size third honey and lemon juice take half a tablespoon full of lemon juice and one tablespoon full of honey mix it well and apply the mixture leave it on for 20 minutes take a small turkish napkin soak this napkin in warm water remove the excess water and wipe off the honey lemon paste and then rinse the area with cold water honey is known for brightening and hydrating the skin it also has a property of reducing unnecessary hair growth this can be done three times in a week fourth food management for bringing hormonal balance some foods that can help with your hormonal balance are first is soya soya has a phytoestrogen so it helps in bringing balance of the hormones this helps in balancing the level of estrogen and this would reduce the hair growth eventually all soya based products like tofu chunk and soya milk are useful sesame seed sunflower seed flax seeds dry fruits garlic peaches oats barley lentils moong beans rice bran all this helps in increasing estrogen and thus reduces excessive facial hair naturally cruciferous vegetables like cabbage cauliflower broccoli should be consumed these foods should be consumed keeping in mind that person is not allergic to soya or phytoestrogen reducing your weight can reduce the imbalance which is caused by estrogen and testosterone usually excessive weight reduces estrogen and increases other hormones like male hormones testosterone leading to increase in hair growth it can also be the symptom of pcos and menopause pcos has been escalating so much that it now happens seven among 10 teenagers you can balance hormones by these foods which i have just mentioned for weight loss consuming right type of diet focusing on all appropriate nutrients is very important asan that can be performed include badrasan sup and sitting vajrasan matsyasan abdominal breathing virasan and mandukasan these asan help in proper production of estrogen by promoting blood flow near the pelvic region they also help in proper functioning of the reproductive system apart from these asanas going for a normal walk is highly recommended also understand 
working on the problem is what is important. Sitting on the problem will not solve them. There is no need to feel inferior about it because body is body. Accept what it has and adapt to a healthy and really fresh, happier life. Accepting what can't be changed. Now, all these problems can be worked upon and we should work on the problems and not just sit cool that that's what my body is. Try and work on yourself. Every problem has its own solution. Work on the solution. Seeing the problem, don't sit and feel bad and depressive. Rather work on the solution and slowly, slowly you will see the difference in yourself. Your face would glow much better because you have worked on it. You would look much beautiful and much smart. So take charge of yourself and work on yourself. Namaskar.